Hafa Day, welcome back to the Boca Box for another edition of Healthy Holiday Makeovers. Uh, my name is Jesse, this is my mom Julie, and we hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I know we had a great time yesterday. We did. So this week, we are going to show you guys how to make some gluten-free and grain-free breads. Um, gluten is a protein that's usually found in a lot of wheat products and grain products. And so, because of the Boca Box, we don't use anything with grains. We've had to do a lot of experimenting with making breads, desserts, and basically everything that doesn't have grains or that's gluten in it. And for some people, gluten can cause digestive issues if they have uh, gluten sensitivities. So we're going to show you some quick ways to make some gluten-free breads that you can use for rolls, biscuits, uh, we have a French bread, and just a, a bread loaf as well. Let's head to the kitchen and let's get started. So holiday breads are one of the favorite things to have on our table because, you know, you could just eat bread all day long. And for the kids, it's a good snack. But making a bread that is gluten-free and grain-free is a little tricky. And we've had to test so many recipes to get this. So today we're going to share what we've come up with so that we can get that, uh, that nice fluff to our bread and have that airy light texture. And so today we're going to make for you a paleo gluten-free, grain-free bread roll or biscuit. And we're going to have Jesse here mix all our products. So we're going to be using almond flour. We're going to be using our sweet potato flour. I'll take that for you. And then we're going to be using our tapioca flour. So those are the flours that we're going to be using for this bread. We're going to mix that up real quick. And then he's going to put in some xanthan gum. Now because the breads are, these flours are not binding, there's no gluten in it, we need the xanthan gum to help it to bind or to hold the ingredients together. So he's going to mix that together. And we're going to put a little bit of salt. Now remember we're low sodium, so we want just like a pinch of salt in there. So we're going to put our salt. He's also going to put a little bit of the rising agent, which is our baking powder, so that um, it can give us some of that fluff that we want in, in our breads. Now he's going to mix that all together. For our, our oil, we're not going to use butter, we're not going to use that process shortening, we're going to use a natural coconut oil that we've heated up and we're going to uh, kind of have Jesse here mix that up so it can make little pebbles with our, with our flour. It's almost, it almost looks like when you're making um, pie crust, regular pie crust, you get your, your pastry cutter and you cut all that, that shortening into the flour, it's going to look a little bit like that with our bread here. But again, it's all gluten-free, grain-free, and it's good natural bread if you're health conscious. I used to make, as the kids were growing up, a lot of bread. The good thing about making paleo bread or gluten-free bread is that there isn't that two hour wait to make it rise. As soon as we're done with the dough, we can use it right away. So now we're gonna have Jesse put in all the wet products, which is our honey. I'm so glad he's helping me in the kitchen. He loves to cook, but baking is a little different. And then we have yeast and water. And he put in, after the honey, he put in some vinegar. Um, it makes the bread really taste good. Um, because it's again different, a different type of flour, the vinegar will help that bread to have that nice taste to it. So he's going to mix all of that up and it's going to start to look like an actual bread dough now. But we still have one more thing to put in and that's our, our egg mixture. Now the egg mixture is just eggs. What we've done is we've put it in a, um, a machine and we've, we've mixed it so that it becomes like this little froth. And what it does, it's like whipping egg whites in, in your meringue. We frothed it so that when we put it into our flour, it gives it that air. And so we can get a little bit of that. Go ahead and take all that out. You wanna hold that? So he's gonna combine that and it's gonna give our, our paleo grain-free, gluten-free bread a little fluff to it starting to look really good. So he's going to fold that in. And then later he's going to have to use his hands so that he can he can really knead all the ingredients into the into the flour. It's looking good. We love bread at our house. So it when we had to to be a little bit more health conscious, it took a lot for us to give up that 
fluffy kind of bread. And um, as we started testing, we had bread that was rock hard, and we were thinking maybe, you know, we can't make grain-free bread, but we've tested. Um, Jesse's wife, Angela, and I, we've tested dozens of recipes. And so we've come up with this nice, fluffy kind of bread. And so we're going to put it in our baking dish and we're going to bake it. So I did mention that you don't have to wait two hours to make this rise, only because um, there's no gluten, so we don't need to, to make it rise. We're going to go ahead and put it in our baking dish right now. We're going to pop it in the oven. So we can make biscuits out of this for your morning breakfast, or you can make some really nice bread rolls. So we're going to have Jesse go ahead and measure that out. If you want it bread rolls, leave it nice and round. Just like you're making regular bread rolls. And then if you want those biscuits, you want to flatten it up. And so the cooking time in this, believe it or not, is you're going to cook it five minutes um, at 350. And then you're going to turn off your oven and you're going to leave the door ajar for 10 minutes. And that helps the, the bread to proof. And it's gonna rise. You're gonna, you're gonna notice that it's gonna have this nice fluff to it. After the 10 minutes, you're going to close that oven door, turn your oven back on to 350 and cook it for five minutes. And guess what? Your bread's all done. Okay, so he's, this is what we do when we do the bread rolls. We just leave it nice and round like that. And then when we want biscuits, we flatten it out so it can have that nice biscuit taste. Okay, and so we're going to pop this in the oven for five minutes at 350, and then we're going to proof it for 10 minutes with the door open and the oven off. And then when that time's done, we're going to put it back on for five minutes and you're done. And then we're going to show you how to make a French bread now. So the dry ingredients is, we're going to use cassava flour this time. So we're going to have Jesse put that cassava flour in, a little bit of coconut flour, and then we're going to have him mix that up. There you go. And then he's going to put in his a little bit of salt and some honey. We don't use any refined sugars and it's, it's healthier for us to use a little bit of the honey instead of the refined white sugars. And for our oil, instead again of the vegetable oil, we're going to use a nice olive, extra uh, virgin olive oil. Okay. Oh, that's just for the dusting. So we've again mixed half a cup of water with a tablespoon of yeast and we're going to, after he's mixed that up, we're going to have Jesse put that in. And again, we frothed our eggs. So the French bread's a little bit different. We don't have to really massage uh, all the ingredients in, like, like the, the biscuit or the bread rolls, because, only because this is kind of a crunchy kind of bread. And so it, once you mix all the ingredients together, it's going to not hard to see he's already got that cassava the cassava flour is a little bit easier to work with than the almond flour and so now we're going to put in the eggs okay. he's going to mix that in um, Jesse's favorite uh, bread is the French bread he likes that crunch to it and so it's a little bit different from the regular French bread. Uh, it has that nice fluff in the French bread, but with the paleo gluten-free French bread, uh, it's a little bit more dense, but tastes just as good. So it's gonna be wet, and that's why we have this here, so that we can go ahead and um, measure, uh, put that out. I'm gonna do this for him because he gets real messy and he's gonna make his apron messy. So it's gonna be wet. We're just gonna take it out. We're gonna go ahead and put this on. If you can grab, Jesse, the baking pan for me. I've had a, a, some, some of his, uh, our clients come in and actually make this with me. And it's as easy as doing this. You just take it out wet like that and your hands are going to look real messy. You're just gonna fold this. What I'm folding it in with is some uh, tapioca flour. And then all you need to do is shape it, put it in your pan, and that's it. You can cut some uh, lines up here to make it look like a real nice French bread, and that's it. So we're gonna pop that in the oven 
for about 20 minutes at 425 degrees. And then you'll have your nice French bread. So I hope that you try our recipes out. We like the bread, we've enjoyed having it, and we hope that you'll include it in your table for that healthy option to your holiday uh, cooking. And so happy eating, happy holidays from the Boca Box. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you guys have as much fun in the kitchen as we do. Join us next week for another edition of Healthy Holiday Makeovers, and we're gonna go over some ways to make healthy holiday treats. And don't forget, if you have any questions on our recipes or anything that we do, feel free to check out the KYM social media sites and come down to our cafe and talk to us a bit. See you next week.